So, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Garage Life. Um, if you are following me or you're friends with me on Facebook, a couple days ago I made a post on Facebook. Actually, I think it was Instagram, or maybe both. I was asking people what they thought was the latest and greatest issue with the Supra because, you know, there's got to be something new. It can't be fixed forever. And uh, someone actually guessed it, and I'm going to show you a part today that every Supra needs. I got it from Ron from Yoda Connectors. Whether you have this problem or not right now, you should get this part because it's going to save you a lot of damn headache, and it's going to make you safe. So every Supra owner, if you, if you own a Supra, you're definitely going to want this part. I think Ron appropriately addressed this uh, package to me. Freddy English, Super Problems Incorporated. I think maybe I should just get rid of Poor Man Mods and Garage Life and just start Super Problems Incorporated. But uh, Ron makes this part, or you go to connectors, makes this part, let's see if I can get out of the box with a package. Ron makes this. This is a lamp failure. Jesus Christ. Ron makes this. This is a lamp failure failure module connector bypass thing. So what's actually going on with the Supra is the brake lights don't work. Ironically, what's making the brake lights not work is there's a lamp failure module in the back, which I'll show you. And Tony, I remember Tony the other day, he said, you just need to rewire your car. Your car's so bad because you do all the wiring and blah, blah, blah. It's your fault that the brake lights aren't working. It's not my fault. It's the factory stuff making it not work. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. So right now I have the key in the ignition and a broom pressing my brake pedal. So the brake lights should be on if they're working, but they're not. Look, 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 look. They're not on. So we'll pop the trunks, pop the trunk ski, and uh, show you what's going on here. This little guy right here, the lamp failure module is what's not allowing my brake lights to work. As you can see, I touched them, I touched it, and now it's on, and it's real finicky. And I actually shoved a washer in there to try to make it work, but uh, it doesn't work all the time. It's really stupid. And it's really hard to pull out. <laughs> That's what she said, it's hard to pull out. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. And in the cold, pressing down on these, God, it hurts your fingers so bad. So, what Ron came up with, a solution to bypass this, without having to do any wiring at all. It's a plug and play solution. So we'll take our bypass connector here. Plugging this in should allow the taillights to light up. You should see them light up through there. Theoretically. Let's hope. Oh yeah. Look at that. It works. No more lamp failure module. Yes. It's the finer things in life or the it's the little things in life when you own a super that makes everything great. You know, like uh working brake lights. It just things that should always work. <laughs> um when they actually work, it makes it great. It's awesome. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so the brake lights are on. We'll pull this thing out. They're off. See if we can test it. Oh yeah, look at that. Working brake lights. Well, I guess since uh, I got this bypass connector thing, I can tuck it away and make it look a little cleaner and I can get rid of this hunk of crap. Stupid thing. Holy crap. That was awesome. Bitch. Ah, <sighs> so it's the little things in life when you own a Supra that can just make your day. You know, just having functioning brake lights like a normal freaking car. <laughs> I've been fighting this brake issue for 
a while now. It's, it started out gradual, like I'd drive and they wouldn't work, and to fix it, I would just take out my taillight bulb holder thing, put it back in, and they would work. Did that a couple of times, and it slowly started to not work, and then I could just touch that lamp failure module, and it would work for a little bit, and then it would stop working. Then I could turn the power off and turn the power back on and it would work, and then eventually all that stopped working. And I sent a message to Ron, I was like, hey, uh, so you know that lamp failure thing in the back of the car that's supposed to warn you when your light isn't working? Well, uh, that's making my lights not work. Have you ever heard of that? If you haven't, you have now. He was like, oh yeah, it's a common problem. I make this bypass connector, I'll send it to you, and it'll fix your problem. And it did! So, thank you, Ron, thank you, thank you. And if you own a Supra, a Mark III Supra, just get that thing. It's 10 bucks. You don't have to do any wiring. You don't have to look up, you know, a wiring diagram and mess with any bullshit. Give Ron 10 bucks. You'll get this connector. It'll plug right in. And even if you don't have this problem yet, if you get it, it'll eliminate the problem in the future. You won't have to worry about your brake lights going out so you don't get a ticket. You don't get into an accident. You don't have to deal with bullshit like me. So... Learn from my mistakes, or learn from my situations, and uh, just make your life easier. Go to yodaconnectors.com, pick up that lamp failure bypass connection thing, and yeah, make your life a lot easier. So, that's really all I had for this video. Just something super simple and easy. Um, yeah, hope you like this video. Hope you learned something. Go check out Yoda Connectors. And, uh, oh, and just in case you're wondering, this actually isn't a sponsored video. I paid Ron for, for this product. He didn't, he didn't just give it to me. So I like Yoda connectors and I, I vouch for them, but this wasn't a sponsored video. So he's a, he's a great person in the community. So go check it out. Have a safe and happy Supra. And I'll see you next time. Peace.